It's our Halloween special! We'll be making some frightening food! And you will see us knit up as never before, so... Let's start the show! <laughs> Uh, Halloween. I love this. I picked this up a few years ago at the supermarket. Um, all these like Halloween sounds. Ooh, so frightening. And it really brings out the child in me. Well, I am a big child at heart. And I remember my mother would lay on a big Halloween party. Um, every year and my school friends would come round and the centerpiece of the food that she made was always an apple pie with a five pence coin hidden in it. It would be wrapped up in greaseproof paper and of course we would know that there was a coin in there somewhere so uh, we were watching out for our teeth. Um, she would also make a green because this was it was a lime jelly and we went bobbing for apples um and it was it was great there was always a big bonfire and you know this would not happen well it shouldn't happen today and it shouldn't happen back then but we had a massive bonfire in our back garden and um i'd be building it for weeks i'd have a base of old tires yep old tires uh cardboard boxes uh, old grass cuttings, wood, bits of fallen trees, anything. And it'd be piled quite high up, you know, I don't know, 12 foot high probably, M more than that. And uh, then on Halloween night, um, my father would light it and he would, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, um, but he would get a can of either petrol or paraffin and spread it all around, sprinkle it all around the entire contents of the fire and then threw a match and it would go and it would burn for days and we'd be running around with sparklers breathing in all the fumes from that as well. Well the other thing it just sort of reminds me um, in Northern Ireland, you weren't allowed fireworks. Um, well, they weren't they weren't on sale for obvious reasons. 
but you could buy indoor fireworks and I'd go to the toy shop and you'd get this box and it would be a whole selection of things and you'd, um, you'd light them and then certain things would happen that you'd get like a mini volcano. One was like a big turd that came out. You'd get like um, a Catherine wheel um, and other sort of big sort of like bonfire type type things all on little on little bits of cardboard so you'd have to like set them on a plate or take them outside or something well they're indoor fireworks they were meant to be lit inside but just thinking you know the hazards of all that but halloween really was one of the favorite times of year for me and um and it still is in many ways uh, because as you can see you know i still buy halloween things and little things like this here just bring it all out happy halloween everyone and now a public service message for the past two years england has been blighted by this disturbing virus it has swept like wildfire throughout society. We all must take action now to stamp it out. Oh, hello, Paul. I see that you applied for chief executive at the bank. Yes, I do know how to use a calculator. You're hired. Coronavirus. Help prevent it. Wear a mask. That was a public service message. <laughs> Happy Halloween! No, I'm not wearing a mask. It's, this is me. And this is my friend, Mr. Pumpkin. Now, this takes me back to my school days, back in Northern Ireland, when we used to carve what we called pumpkins every Halloween. But we didn't have pumpkins way back then in the old homeland. We had turnips, but we still called them pumpkins. Now, carving a turnip um, meant that you all the bits that you had out, you could cook up and have as part of your, your Friday dinner. Um, I've never carved a pumpkin before, but I do know that it's full of yucky seeds and all that sort of stuff, which can be used for pies and, and other dishes. So we are going to keep the contents, but I've never carved one before, so I'm not really quite sure what to expect. Um, now, the first thing is to draw a face on the pumpkin because you want to make sure that you're not just doing it freehand, otherwise it could turn out very messy. It might be very messy anyway, but let's start off by drawing the face. It doesn't necessarily have to have a nose. In fact, mine isn't going to have a nose, so I sort of think I'd probably cut it around here. Two eyes and a mouth. Okay, so let's draw two sort of diamond ship eyes and a mouth now let's see for the mouth I'm gonna go like this and like this join it up together for this job I think I'm gonna stand up because I want to make sure I get a nice clean cut and a clean cut of the pumpkin and not my not my hand. So here we go. Well, that was more difficult than I thought. I had to have a helper come in, but look. Okay, I'm going to put the lid aside. So here we have the inside of the pumpkin. And I'm going to just mark it with the herring knife, first of all. So as I make sure I leave enough of the remaining pumpkin. I don't want to carve too much out of it. Right, here we go. This seems to be. Oh, there's pips flying everywhere. Oh, I think it's coming. There we go. Look at that. I think I'll keep on going a bit.
There we go. Now we're ready to start carving. This is more difficult though. I think carving a, carving a turnip never seemed to be as, as tough as this. Ooh, look. Ooh, it's looking rather spooky already. Let's go on the, on the second peephole. Okay, I've decided because the pumpkin is quite small, that fangs might be a bit too difficult and it might impact uh, the nose. Sorry, the, <laughs> the eyes <laughs> doesn't have a nose. <laughs> oh, blimey. Right, okay, we'll put that over there. We'll put your little inside bits over there. Oh, pleased to meet you. You look rather nice. What do you think? Yeah, nice. So, let's see if the lid fits. It certainly does. Now, the next thing to do, this is the bit I've been looking forward to, is getting the lights in. So, we've got um, a couple of tea lights here. Um, I did buy bigger candles because, in fact, you know, sort of they were like that size, the normal candles that you would have in your drawer for power cuts, that sort of thing. But the candle's going to stick right out of his head. Oh, I think. Now, when we did um, way back in the day at home, we always um, made a little chimney in the in the top to let the, uh, the smoke come out. But I'm not sure I should do that. So we'll see. If I do need a chimney, um, I can cut one later. But um, we're going to pop in our tea lights, one and two. So that should uh, just be about where the eyes and and mouth is. And we've got some candles, matches, <laughs> matches to light our candles. <laughs> See how we get on, try not to burn myself. There's one. And two. And by the magic of television, the lights shall now go off. Whoa! Didn't I say the lights would just go off? And they did, just like that. Right, here we go with your little lid. Get it fitting exactly as it should be. Is that right? Come on, where are you? There you go. That's not right either. Why does he not want to sit on? Oh, that's about it. And there we have our pumpkin ready to scare all of you on Halloween. It's Halloween, it's Halloween, the moon is full and bright, and we shall see what can't be seen on any other night. Skeletons and ghosts and ghouls, grinning goblins fighting duels, werewolves rising from their tombs, witches on their magic brooms. In masks and gowns we haunt the street, and knock on doors for trick or treat. Tonight we are the king and queen, for oh, tonight it's Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be making Halloween Gingerbread Man. Woo! Here's what we do. I've got this dough mix, cookie mix, which I'm going to put into a bowl, just like this. And to the dough mix, I'm going to add 80 grams of unsalted butter. Um, it's just come out of the fridge a short time ago, so it's slightly soft. 
and then all we do is we mix with our fingers the butter into the cookie mix until it becomes a nice smooth dough which we will then be able to roll out. So I've now got this lovely dough ball and I've got a lightly floured board here and my rolling pin and we want to try to get 12 gingerbread men out of this. So we're going to roll it until it's about five millimetres in thickness and the thing is you might have to re-roll once you start making some of your your gingerbread men cut out cut into shapes Woo. just pops out like that look oh his head came off <laughs> <laughs> well it is halloween um if it go if it does go wrong then simply just re-roll so I'm going to continue like this and try to get my 12 gingerbread men cut. And here they are. I've managed to get 13. Unlucky for some, and it is Halloween. And um, there was there was one extra bit left, so I've made a nice little circular one. Paul has just pointed out that if um, I was to cook them all, bake them all like this, they might expand and run into each other. So we're going to do them in two batches. Um, you cook them, bake them in a conventional oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. So when it gets to about the 9, 10 minute mark, I would have a little look at the oven to make sure that they're not burning. So we'll get those separated into two batches and into the oven. I'd say that's golden brown, wouldn't you? Now, we've got our little pen, our white icing pen, and I'm going to do some nice little designs. And keep watching, because I've got another little touch um, for these as well. Little skeleton type figures. You can do whatever you like with the icing. It's just a bit of fun, after all. Look, a union flag on that one. What's that? Something's rattling. <laughs> Look, it's creepy eyes. Yes. So I'm going to put some creepy eyes on my gingerbread man. Just one on each one to make it even more scary. He can have his eye in the middle there. Now, the icing now needs to um, set for a bit. So, while it's setting, I think it's time that Paul started making something else to eat. Because we don't just want sweets on Halloween. We want something savoury as well! From the beginning. Happy Halloween everyone. I hope you like my new get up today and I hope that you're enjoying our Halloween show so far. Today we'll be making sushi pumpkin Halloween rolls. So it will have cucumbers, sushi rice, salmon, seaweed and also Soy sauce, if you want, at the end. So why don't we get going? So it's supposed to be balls, but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get it as balls. A bat of sushi rice. It just came out of the pan, so it's pretty hot just now. Um, so we're going to add some cucumber and then make a bit of a sandwich type of thing
And then we're going to use some of the salmon, put it on top, and then let's make some scary eyes with seaweed triangles that we cut up before. So this is like a bit of a a bit of a smiley or a bit of a scary face. Hopefully this will give you all a bit of a fright. <laughs> Well, this looks like quite a spread for Halloween. Um, so shall we start off with the uh, with the with the sushi rice clumps? It's a clump. Who wrote my bubble mood? So why don't we add some soy? All oh, right. Did you like some? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Bye bye, Mr. Face. Mm. I'm gonna hold it up. I think I'm going to have to go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't eat it in front of the camera. Mmm. I haven't even got a mouthful yet. Let's try this. I can't see now. How do you ladies do it? I got it in my hair. I got hair. I got, <laughs> I got hair in my mouth. Nice. Tasty. Mmm. God. Mm. Taste all the the cucumber with the with the, the, the salmon. And what kind of sauce is that? Soy. What? What? Soy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Soy sauce. Get it right down to it. Mmm. 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 I'm not really a fan of sushi, but I eat cooked sushi type stuff. So with the salmon, salmon I'm absolutely fine with. The salmon can be smoked salmon, so it's not cooked the traditional way, it's smoked. But that is as close to raw that I am going to get. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I'll finish that later. <laughs> what about our dick? <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <coughs> <coughs> I think I swallowed a hair. What about our lovely gingerbread Halloween man? Mm, I'm gonna tuck into that. That was tasty. Mmm! Just be careful with the eyes because they're a bit a bit hard. I have to try to find a path. Ooh, path very, very scary look. Well what's more scary is I'm trying to find a pathway through my hair to my mouth. Oh. Oh I've had it with this. <laughs> Can't see a thing now. <laughs> Oh no! That's ruined my glasses. <laughs> Wig! Over there. Ah! That's much better! Now I just look like my normal clown self. So. so I'm gonna finish the sushi stuff first. Look mm. at my get up! <laughs> Are you a RuPaul's Drag Race this year? Mmm. Anyway. No matter what you're doing this Halloween, have a lovely time. Happy Halloween, everyone. Shake a shake. Mm. And be safe if you're having a bonfire. Speaking of which, join us on Tuesday for Bonfire Night. It'll be a sparkler of a show. See you then. Run titles. <laughs> no, credits. <laughs> Studio Parkers 2021. Can someone stick that on the bottom now and play our music? Mmm. Mmm. I think we're eating all of these. Wait. Mmm. 
Did you enjoy this shirt? Should I do it the other way? Mm. And that's a wrap. No way. We hope you all enjoyed our program today and that it was very entertaining and very hilarious and very fun to watch. I'm just stuck in my face. So happy Halloween everyone and we'll see you on Tuesday for our bonfire night extravaganza. Mm. See you all you guys and gals foxes then. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Mmm, did you eat the biscuit? I ate some of it. Okay, I need to get out of the apron. Can you get me out of the apron? <laughs>